Guys, welcome back to another episode of OCN Rigs. We got one of my personal favorites today, Grant and his 2000 Hummer H1. Grant, what's up, man? Not too much. Thank you guys for having me. Dude, thanks for coming on. So talk a little bit about what it's like owning a Hummer H1. Uh, well, it's, it's an adventure for sure. Yeah. Uh, owning a Hummer is pretty freaking awesome. I've had it for about five years. In that time, I've changed a bit. Had really quite a few awesome adventures. The vehicle itself is a 2000 H1 Slantback. They only made about 39 of those, which makes it very rare. Absolutely. Uh, I was lucky enough to find this one uh, with only 18,000 miles on it, okay. which is pretty awesome. It's up to about 27,000 at this point, gotcha. which uh, makes it makes it even more unique. Uh, it's yeah. pretty low, low mileage. Low, uh, but you drive it. I yeah, love that. Exactly. Yeah. The original uh, design for the vehicle uh, for the military would have been for rockets. And the idea was is the, the fire coming out of those when they would launch them wouldn't burn off the rear of the vehicle wow. because of that slanted rear. I mean, the idea of it is, is you know, they're, they're, they're unique and they're rare, but at the same time, I don't really like to just garage something. I like to have it yeah. be where, uh, you know, it's used uh, and you'll see there's some wear and tear on it for sure. Good stuff. But uh, it's, it's, it's definitely a joy. Uh, Mod Mafia, they basically made this vehicle run uh, as well as it does and, uh, and perform as well off-road for a few reasons. Uh, we got rid of the original front bumper, have the new Mod Mafia front bumper, which cool. kind of gives it a better profile. We put a brand new worn winch in here, 12,000 pound. Cool with that uh, Factor 55 Ultra Hook. You know, you get into those sticky situations yep. and, and you need to get yourself out and yeah. it just gets you out in a heartbeat, which is really nice. This is a Stinger brush guard, cool. uh, which is, there's not many of them. It's kind of unique, which I like. It's definitely taken a lot of hits. <laughs> what it's you'll, made you'll for, see right? <laughs> from around, but it did its job. Okay. Um, as we kind of go up uh, the vehicle itself, we've got about 13 LED light bars to uh, basically just make nighttime daytime yeah well hey big <laughs> yeah. car need a lot of lights Absolutely. if you're maneuvering tight spaces so yeah yep and that really makes a difference as we kind of keep going up we go to the snorkel i have the new uh, mod mafia um, angled uh, snorkel going up to the uh, cyclone snorkel itself okay. their uh, snorkel upgrade um, on instagram and they are just fantastic it's actually what they use on most uh, military vehicles awesome. today okay so cool uh, uh, very very awesome so with that i mean how much water can you take on in this thing you can go up to the bottom of a snorkel okay to a point <laughs> but you'll get a lot of water in your vehicle yeah um you know most people they're not going to go past you know the height of the tire that kind of thing uh, it's just not not too common but i have seen people take these completely over the roof of the wow. car yeah. okay it's all based on where your snorkel is good to know you can do it yeah Let's open up the hood. And I know the hood opens really unique on these things, so I'm excited to pop this thing open. Let's do it. Quite a hassle. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll get there. So this is the biggest engine bay I think I've ever seen. <laughs> turbo definitely. diesel. Well, they made it in a few different engine styles. This one so happens to be the 6.5 liter turbo diesel, which mm -hmm. is a blessing. Uh, if you don't have a turbo, it's extremely hard to go up hills, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, kind of something they thought of after the fact. Mm -hmm. The vehicle only produces about like 193 or seven horsepower, but it produces about 430 foot pounds of torque. Wow. Okay. Which is uh, pretty nice. Yeah. Um, kind of small for how big the vehicle is, but it's definitely a more finesse than anything. Okay. So I have to ask, what's your MPG on this thing? <laughs> That's not why you buy a Hummer, but I'm just curious. Well, it does have two <laughs> gas tanks for a reason. Okay. I think the lowest on like a really steep hill, probably like somewhere about eight to 10 miles per gallon. Okay. Uh, but typical day-to-day -day driving about 13. Okay. Uh, great for long off-road trips, uh, basically main tank you get going you kind of get towards empty you yeah. can just flip a switch in the cab goes right to the dual tank and you essentially almost have about double the mileage yeah. randy Which... if you're watching he's got you beat on that category <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tires wheels and suspension that's a big tire, to say the least. Let's talk it's about it. Very big. Yeah, uh, it's 37 inch, which is actually the the, the right size for uh, what came off of the the uh, dealership lot. Cool. Obviously, a slightly different tire itself. Mm -hmm. um, these are Interco uh, IROC tires. Very awesome, kind of grippy. I use them for highway, but they're not supposed to be. Uh -huh. uh, really great for off road. Uh, wheel, we have a 17 inch dual bead lock. Wow. So it's bead lock from both sides. This is actually the prototype, one of the prototype sets for what eventually became the, the Alpha wheel, which was the model made in 2006. Okay. So these are kind of very unique themselves. Cool. Um, and a company called Hutchinson Rock Monster is starting to reproduce these. Slightly different look, but that dual beadlock 
uh, awesome. and then the last, which is really awesome. We've got CTIS lines, which that means central tire inflation system. Mm -hmm. um, that basically allows me from inside uh, in the driver's seat, I can wow. inflate, deflate the tires, um, kind of help you in any sort of off-road situation you get yourself caught yes. up in. And then uh, shock-wise, I do have CPEC shocks on this, which is a very heavy duty shock. Uh, and inside the cab, I have a controller, which allows me to um, basically make them a, a harder suspension or softer suspension on the fly to a point. Wow. So that's nice. Unique. You can air down and make adjustments from the driver's seat. That's yes. really cool. Awesome, <laughs> Very unique. Yeah. Heavy duty truck, heavy duty armor. Talk about what you've done to kind of protect the overall body of this thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, from top to bottom here, uh, this roof rack itself actually protects quite a lot when you're articulating off road mm -hmm. and have trees or any sort of uh, thing that might hit the body of the car, which yeah. is awesome. Uh, coming down to the Mod Mafia RPP, that stands for rock protection panels. Um, what's unique about the Hummer is the entire drivetrain, everything is up in the center of the vehicle. So it allows me to have armor completely underneath. So there's basically nothing that can be damaged when off-roading. Nice. Uh, and this Good goes on of mind. <laughs> both sides, exactly. Yeah. Both sides, they've protected my car, basically saved me from losing my doors multiple times. And then for my 360 lighting, this also helps protect it. The roof rack's just great for that. I have Axia alloys mounts here, um, which basically keep my lights solid no matter if they take an impact. Basically anything, I've never had an issue with them. Cool. I run over 20 of them on my car. Very cool. awesome. I like how they're tucked in there. Yeah. It's like they're definitely protected, but very. you can still use them. Yep, awesome. fully loomed and they, they go all the way in. It's, it's, it's very awesome, very protected system. Cool, man. Probably the most unique part of the vehicle. Talk a little bit about the slantback. Well, uh, this is actually what made me want to buy this particular uh, car. I, uh, through my research and everything, I, I, I was gonna get a wagon, I was gonna get something else. And once I found out the slantback was uh, only made for one year yeah. and a limited run, it's really what made me want to go with an H1. It makes them very unique. This is a single piece door that comes up, windshield wiper, everything like that. A lot of aftermarket companies try to reproduce it, but I've never seen anything close. Awesome. That. So it makes it very, very cool. And in my opinion, the best silhouette from the yeah. side of the vehicle. Yeah. CB radio too, see the antenna? Yep, CB antenna. Cool. Uh, it kind of runs into the, the vehicle. It's nice when we're out on the road, we can talk to each other, various Hummers and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, very useful. Um, looking at getting a, another antenna as well. Cool, man. So stock bumper? Yep. Awesome. <laughs> uh, very stock bumper, but I have a few aftermarket pieces. Uh, I got a jerry can uh, carrier, you know, for extra gasoline uh, when you're doing those long <laughs> off-road trips. Yes. Uh, and then I have a, which it just isn't as common, a left uh, driver's side tire carrier. Um, makes it kind of unique to my vehicle. Yeah. Very awesome, very heavy duty, which is what I really wanted for the vehicle. So how much wheel tire, how much does this thing weigh? Weighs probably right around like 160 pounds. Yeah, it's quite a lot. I weigh 170. Let's uh, let's open up the rear. Let's see awesome. what this thing looks like. Yeah, let's do it. So that uh, door is kind of what makes this Hummer unique. Uh, you've got a lot of storage to the left and right with these racks. Uh, uh, just a very kind of uh, big space. I, I need to get a fridge. Yeah. I need to get a, a truck vault, but uh, beyond that, a uh, great space. Yeah, plenty of space for it. So how wide is this vehicle? It's just about a half inch wider than a Ford Raptor. Uh, you got to uh, beat, okay. Yeah, uh, if you can't, uh, it, it doesn't look like it. Ford Raptors are a little more curved towards the top. This mm -hmm. is pretty much a, a straight wall. So Frick, man. Makes it look big. Yeah, so with that becomes the lights. I know these are required. Yep, definitely. Okay. Yeah, you'll see those a lot in like semis, things like yeah. that, because they reach a certain width. Um, Raptors have them as well yep. because of that width. It's just a, a requirement to have that that three light system basically let people know that you're not two separate vehicles gotcha. on the road. You're, you're one solid vehicle coming down. <laughs> any future plans? I know no build is complete, but any big future plans for it? Uh, lots of big plans going from a big lift on this thing, going to 41 inch tires, new roof rack. Basically the exterior is going to look very different uh, hopefully coming up and uh, the goal would be to be going to SEMA um, uh, either awesome. uh, if this year happens or potentially next year. Well Grant, appreciate it man. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate Guys it. give him a follow over at Bison Beard. Uh, give us a follow over at Osteen Rigs. Comment below, ask any questions. Until next time, we'll see y'all.